Hello, this is Pankaj Kumar. Today I will tell you how to make the timer on your own in your home using useless things. So let's start. Uh, here I use the wire. This is especially for soldering wire. It is very thin. Uh, I use some electric buttons like this circuit buttons. I have soldered them with the soldering wire with my soldering iron you can see here uh, I have three buttons you can see I have all soldered them with my soldering iron and the soldering wire uh, next thing we will need is the foils these are the foils uh, we have four foils uh, two, two are small and two are big <coughs> You have to use uh, uh, anything which is uh, not uh, thick but thin, which is foldable. You can use the mosquito coil stand for that. Uh, here's the main part, the timer which will be used. It is actually clock which I uh, just uh, ripped up and make the make the engine. I have soldered wires, uh, six wires on the engine. You can see. <clears throat> six wires you will have to do that to make the timer so here's the main part and those are the side visor uh, buttons and here also this is the main part and these are the buttons you have to do that you have to solder on your own or you can just go to a shop and just told him to so uh, solder that you will take 10 or 20 rupees and there will go okay uh, previously I was using this uh, geometry box plastic geometry box it was so uh, after uh, now I will be using a pad uh, which is more um, good it's uh, uh, designing you can see it's soft uh, very soft it's very soft like uh, very soft okay so here I here's the <clears throat> timer which I, I will have to just cut it down around it and I will have to fix that time um, engine there and I will also have to do things here I mark the um, now I will have to cut the marked, uh, marked lines so that I can put the timer and the um, panels there so I have cut this all the marked lines and there we go you can see how I cut that now you have to attach the file on the pan, um, board here I have attached the panels now I'll attach your wires behind it so that uh, it will be okay now you can see here will be the engine and there I will attach wires so there we go there's the engine now I'll have to attach wires. Okay, make a series connection between the upper part, which are long. Attach a wire with the upper part of the panel. Single wire, and another wire will be right after down there. Yeah, right here. Another wire. So here is a wire. Let's make it. Okay, yeah. There is. Uh, I've ju just uh, showed you how to attach them. Okay, now I will just uh, attach the engine here, and then everything will go okay. Now I will just attach the engine here. There. Here, this is the menu button, and the upper part of the button is the light button which we don't need here this is the reset button the down part and the upper part is the start button I have all soldered the them with my soldering iron and the wire now I'll have to attach it with the wood which I have made and cut so yeah here we go now I'll have to just uh, attach all the wires with the engine so that mm, we'll have a working 
पैड नाउ ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज नाउ इज टू कनेक्ट ऑल द वायर्स इन द अप्रोप्रिएट पॉइंट सो दी विल हैव ए वर्किंग टाइम सो वी गो सी दिस द मेन पॉइंट मिड पॉइंट एक्चुअली सी दिस द मिड पॉइंट दिस इज द लाइट पॉइंट एंड द डाउन इज द मेन्यू दिस इज स्टार्ट एंड दिस इज मिड पॉइंट गो या दैट वॉज द स्टार्ट बटन the right upper part the lower part is the reset is menu and the upper part we don't need that is a light we don't need if you need you can attach with buttons that was your choice uh, here you can do that so all you have to do is connect all the points to the appropriate ease. so uh, this is the midpoint and the upper part what we have to do is the connect the midpoint and the upper part of the engine with the touch panel and the lower actually lower part of the touch panel and the upper part of the touch panel so we will have a key so when we use it <coughs> we will have a key like thing like touch panel so here we go so here we connect it go Here I have attached the touch panels wire with the engine. Here you can see the midpoint, midpoint, and the upper part. Now all I have to do is just uh, uh, attach all the buttons, the two remaining buttons with the engines. So we'll have a menu button and a re reset button. Here I will use it uh, for menu button, and the other, uh, the right side part, is, will use as a uh, reset button. so there we go here i have connected all the wires but we will have to add some uh, cell load tape so the circuit doesn't get uh, short circuit circuited so here we go here my uh, cell load taped here you can see it will okay see Add some, add some fuzzy tape on the upper part. So we'll have a design, good design, good looks. So here we go. Now I'll use it. Like uh, this is the this is the menu button and this is the reset button. Like that. Okay. So I'll be using it like menu. Here's the stopwatch. Now I'll use it. so touch the panel okay, let's touch now you can see the clock uh, stop watch is running now i want to stop that so i will be using any one of the panels so i'll touch this here we go now you can see the time 11 seconds so now we reset it with the reset button okay here we go yes okay let's get so this is a good time you can use it frequently everywhere anywhere so see this part like uh, see the internal structure of this here i have completed the video now uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, like and please comment on my video Thanks for watching. Bye bye.